there, Roseanne Cunningham here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk today about potatoes because here's the thing, as a health and wellness coach, as a personal trainer, the one thing I hear my clients say the most to me is, oh my gosh, I don't wanna give up potatoes, or they feel guilty because they, they had potatoes, they had a baked potato with their dinner the night before, or, um, or they included, you know, a sweet potato with their breakfast one day, or um, you know, did some roasted potatoes and mixed it up with some green pepper uh, to have with one of their meals. So I have gotten to the point where I'm so tired of telling people this that I thought I just need to do a video. Here's the thing. Here's the truth. Potatoes are not bad for you. There is nothing wrong with eating potatoes unless it comes in a McDonald's or a Burger King or a Wendy's or a, or fill in the blank fast food restaurant name fry container, okay? Baked potatoes are good for you. Roasted potatoes are good for you. Boiled potatoes are good for you. Potatoes with the skin on them are extra nutrient dense. They are good for you. They are going to be higher in calories than other food that you might choose to put on your plate. So you do need to be aware of that if you are trying to lose weight, if you're trying to watch your calories, if you're trying to maintain your weight, you do need to be aware of how many calories you're consuming, but that could be with any food that you eat. That could be with brown rice, for example. Brown rice is also another thing that is super, super healthy for you, very nutrient dense, but also very dense in calories. So there's a lot of great food options out there for you to consume but no matter what you're eating, if you have goals to maintain your weight or to lose weight, you can't change what you don't measure. So you do need to be tracking that. You do need to be aware of it. Now, I am a personal fan of sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I like to uh, chop sweet potatoes up and um, make them into French fry shapes. And I put them in a large Ziploc bag with a little bit of coconut oil or olive oil or avocado oil and shake it up. And then I put them out on a cookie sheet and I roast them in the oven until they're nice and toasty brown and crisp. Um, sometimes they don't get super crisp, but they're still tasty no matter what. And that is sort of like having sweet potato fries, but a healthier version of it. I keep the skin on because the skin is loaded with nutrients and I want to get as many nutrients as possible when I put food into my body. When I eat, I look at, is this going to nourish my body? I'm less concerned with the calories as I am with the nutrients in it and how I'm preparing it so that it will nourish my body. Because a well-nourished body and a body that moves regularly via exercise functions optimally, okay? Hormones are functioning optimally gut health is functioning optimally. So when those things come together, your metabolism is fired up. And I don't wanna say it doesn't matter how many calories you consume, because yes, it does matter. At some point, if you consume too many calories, you will gain weight. But ultimately, your first goal should be to fuel your body with nutrients and nutrient-dense foods. So do not eliminate potatoes from your diet. Sweet potatoes are definitely health coach and nutrition coach approved, okay? The russet potato gets a bad rap. That's because most of the time when people eat these, they come in a fry container or they are fried in unhealthy oils or they are loaded up with lots of unhealthy toppings, okay? I have a baked potato fairly regularly. And when I eat my baked potato, I eat the skin and all, not just the flesh, I eat the skin too, because again, the skin is loaded with nutrients. Um, yes, it is higher glycemic. So if you are somebody who is diabetic and you, or you are somebody who has high levels of candida, I'm sorry, high levels of yeast in your system, um, which can lead to candida, then you definitely want to, uh, to be very aware of how much 
sugar, natural sugar you're putting into your body. And you do want to check, you know, the glycemic level on different foods that you're eating. But if you don't have any of those issues and you're just the average everyday person trying to live a healthy life and have a healthy body and a healthy weight, don't be shy about eating potatoes. They are russet potatoes. They are not bad for you unless you fry them in unhealthy oil, unless they are processed, unless they are loaded with unhealthy ingredients. Um, and that goes into another thing. People say, oh, well, if you put a lot of butter on something, it's bad for you. It's only bad for, if you, for you if you're using processed butter like margarine that is nothing, it's not even real butter, it's chemicals. That is really bad for you. But if it is um, high quality butter, like the sticks of butter that you can get, those are not bad for you, okay? So don't shy away from your healthy fats, all right? Don't eat a whole stick of butter. <laughs> that wouldn't be good for you. Everything in moderation, okay? And one of my other favorites is the red potato. Red potatoes are actually lower in calories. Um, they are quite tasty in a lot of different ways. They're super quick and easy to chop up and saute in a pan, throw in with, I just actually, what got me thinking about doing this video was I just made myself some scrambled eggs and some sauteed uh, red potatoes with um, sliced up with green pepper and mixed it all together with my scrambled eggs, a sprinkle of cheese on top, perfect health coach approved meal that's high in protein, high in healthy fats, and includes my vegetables. Now, when I say vegetables, most of the time I'm referring to greens. Greens are really the, the first thing that you want to choose because they're liver cleansing, they're lowering, lower in calories, they are high in nutrients, um, they're cancer fighting, but you know what? All three of these, also cancer fighting. People don't realize that, but they are. When you, especially when you eat the skin because they are loaded with antioxidants and, and other nutrients that are really good for your body. So potatoes get a bad rap. They shouldn't. They are 100% health coach approved and personal trainer approved. So if you are working with me in any form, rest assured, potatoes are okay. I want you to eat your potatoes. I want you to eat your greens. I want you to eat carrots and beets and mushrooms and asparagus and broccoli and peppers and all of those wonderful things. Tomatoes. Okay. I want you to, to have a very colorful plate full of nutrients because at the end of the day, a well-nourished body starts by putting good whole foods into your body, not processed foods, exercising on a regular basis, staying hydrated, getting enough sleep, reducing or eliminating your stress levels, and having a healthy um, work-life balance. All of those things combined create an optimally functioning healthy body and mind. Okay, so eat your potatoes, just don't eat them out of a fry container, all right? So with that, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and um, hit that little bell, that notification bell as well. And I'll be uh, chatting with you all again very soon. Have a great day.